channel. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for watching. And if you're new here, my name is Bernice. I usually do my makeup and post it on my Instagram. And I ask you guys if you would like a video on that. So if you would like to contribute in that and give me suggestions, then follow my Instagram. It's in the description box below. And let's get straight to it. So because I am doing a cut crease look for my eyes, and if you have hooded eyes, you know it's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna start with my eyes first. I'm gonna go step by step on how I do it. So the first thing I'm gonna take is, oh, I broke it. <laughs> I'm honestly really sad because this is one of my favorite concealers um, besides the infallible full wear. Look at that. At least it still works though. Putting this on my eyes. Now to kind of make this, <laughs> I look so crazy. <laughs> but to kind of blend this out a little bit faster, I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender. So one thing that you want to do when you're doing cut crease looks on hooded eyes is make sure that you're leaving room for your eye makeup. So the best thing to do is to kind of put a higher arch on your brows um, just so it can give it more room to do what you want with the cut crease. I'm going to be setting my eyes with my translucent powder because there is a natural crease on the eye if you have hooded eyes. So we just wanna set that. So everything that I'm using today will be in the description box below. Just set the area where there's the crease. So we're literally right on the lid. I'm just using the rest to set the top. But you really wanna focus the powder on the crease area. So the first color I'm going to take to give my eyes some depth before I start applying colors is this chocolate brown right here. It's the perfect transition color because it's not too dark, but you can also see the color and it doesn't really affect the other colors when you put it on because it looks natural. So I'm just gonna be putting this right on the crease on top, of course. Really lightly, just to make it look natural and make sure you're winging it out, like so. Now I'm gonna be taking, where'd that brush go? So I don't know if I'm blind or something, but I am always losing my shit. But with this brush, it's from Amazon. I got um, a pack from Amazon. I don't really know what it's called, but if you guys would like to know where I got these brushes, I can leave that in the description below as well. Smaller brushes are going to be your best friend if you have hooded eyes. So you can be really precise with your placements. So don't mind the broken palette. <laughs> Using this purple right here, and kind of feeling where my bone is, I'm making a V. I think that is the easiest way to explain it. Kind of feel where that dip is right here. Just feel where your bone is and draw the liner right under there. And connect it. And because I'm just learning, I like to add little by little so I don't end up adding too much color because it's going, this color is going to be blended out anyways. Kind of keep it right at the arch. And be taking this small fluffy brush to blend out the line that I just made. 
And with this, you really just have to be patient. I saw this technique from a girl on YouTube. I tried it and it was honestly the easiest way I have seen somebody do a cut crease on hooded eyes. Going with a little bit more and just work my way to the color that I want. I don't know if you guys can see that. Always trust the process. Because <laughs> you're always going to look crazy at first and always have trouble with that because I'm like, oh my god, it looks so bad. But you just have to be patient and trust the process. So now I'm going to go in with this purple right here. So it's more of a vibrant purple, so the purple will pop a little bit more because the purple I'm using here looks a bit of a mix of brown. So I'm just taking this color on a small flat brush. I'm just gonna do a little bit right on top of that color. Always keep your light hand when you're doing this. And I'm just gonna do a circular motion with this. So as you can see, now it looks more of a purple instead of a black eye. <laughs> and now we're gonna go in with the concealer. All these brushes, it, oh, actually this was a mistake. I was supposed to buy more brushes and it came in this packaging, which I thought was so cute and that's why I bought it. And they're actually small brushes and I, I was disappointed at first because I was plain. <laughs> but now that I'm using them, I'm like, this was actually what I needed because this really helps out for hooded eyes um, to just be more precise with what you're doing. I'm taking this brush, I'm using my broken Fenty Beauty Concealer. So with this, you want to look down and just kind of drag down. So one thing that would, could help you form this line is to look at when you look straight, that's where the line's going to be. So it's just a little bit above the crease. Now to diffuse this, make it look a little bit more natural. I'm just gonna be doing this with my finger. So it doesn't look like this just came out of nowhere. It's okay guys. If you mess if you mess up on the concealer, I I got you. I'm gonna set this again with my translucent powder. And to define the crease line that we just made. I'm gonna explain to you why it doesn't really matter that you don't make this line perfect. Going back in with it with this angled brush. So you can fix it. Make sure that that line that you made At the top is shown. And I'm just gonna blend this out so it doesn't look so harsh.
So honestly, the key is blending because you can, you can fix it really easily with the concealer. And if you mess up the concealer, just go back with that color that you're using and create that line. Because after you set it, and it's obviously a darker color than concealer, you can really define that line. Now, I'm gonna use this color right here. It looks really white, but it actually has a pink undertone. So it really meshes well with the purple. I'm just gonna be patting that on there. And then you're going with this kind of rusty pink to really make these colors blend together. And don't drag, pat. Using the purple that we previously used, just really lightly. I put a little bit of that rose gold on top of the first color that I used in the front over here. I finished doing the other eye, but I'm not gonna put on mascara or eyeliner yet. I'm gonna do my face makeup first, so then you can see how everything is put together. I already applied the Infallible Full Wear Concealer in Shade Almond. Everything that I'm using today is gonna be in the description box below. What I first did is I put this on the blemishes that I have. Um, if you've seen my previous video, I would be suggesting on the top right corner, then I do this because I have blemishes and this really helps cover up those blemishes. I'm gonna be blending this out. I actually had it on for a couple minutes because you want to let it set a little bit. That actually increases the coverage. Honestly, I saw this on TikTok and I was like, hmm. And I tried it and now I literally do it every time I do a makeup. Now I'm going with my favorite foundation ever. Ever. <laughs> the Fenty Beauty Pro Matte Filter Foundation in shade 330. Honestly, this is one of the best foundations that I've found so far. But... If you guys would like to leave me any other suggestions on better foundations, honestly, I'll take that. I like trying new things because there's always something that's better. I needed to lay my edges, y'all. I, <laughs> I needed this scarf on my head. Taking my, my damp beauty blender and blending everything out. So I'm going in with the same concealer in the shade Latte. Y'all, I just noticed my scarf flew up. Just, just disregard that. I like to put it under my lips because whenever I do my contour, I bring it all the way up to here, which the contour is under the bronzer. Taking the butter bronzer and putting it on my forehead because we gotta cover that up.
So the nose contour doesn't have to be perfect because I will be blending it out with a brush and using the concealer to fix anything. I put my contour right on my cheekbone. And when I'm blending, you wanna blend upwards. I'm doing this to hide my double chin because it's summertime and I've been eating. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take the Anusha Juno setting spray and I'm spraying my beauty blender just a little bit. Oh, that was that was not my beauty blender. So I'm I'm spraying my beauty blender now. Whenever you're blending this out, because this is so wet, you want to make sure you're keeping a light hand so it doesn't disturb the foundation. So now I'm going to be setting wherever I contoured. Oops, that is way too much. I don't like to bake because I, it leaves me bumps on the skin and I just don't like how it looks in person. It may look really good on camera. But oh, I think we all want to look good in camera and <laughs> well, black shirt was not the move today. I like to set my upper lip down here and follow the line that I did with the concealer. So wherever I put the concealer, I'm setting with the translucent powder. Now I'm going in with bronzer again and going over wherever I put the bronzer. With this, make sure that you're going in circular motions and blending your way upwards. So for your chin, Never just do this. Make sure that you're pushing it back because that's what you, that's the point of the bronzer down here is to get that illusion of just, you know, just, just suck that up. Going in with my blush. I'm placing it right on top of that bronzer. I also like to put some on my nose because it really highlights that bronzer that you put. What did I tell y'all? Trust the process. I'm going back in with the Fenty Beauty palette and I'm going in with that dark purple I was using at the start. And I'm putting this under my eyes with this brush. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with this rose gold right here. I'm also put some on the inner corners of my eyes. This really helps the eyes look more open and alive. 
which is the point of having a cut crease you want to make your eyes look more open using this black pencil liner and putting this in my waterline on the bottom and the top so now that i've done that i'm gonna go in with my eyeliner from l'oreal it's very very thin which is why i like it so i'm gonna make a really thin line I'm gonna do a small little wing. Nothing too drastic because I want the focus to be on the crease. So I know this is not the best cut crease because I'm still learning, but you know, this is how you learn. You keep trying, keep trying. Um, but I think for my first time doing this on camera, I think it turned out really good. <laughs> what is next? So lashes. I'm using the same lashes that I've used in my previous video, but I'm leaving the full strip. It will be in the description below because I got it on Amazon. I'm not really sure what the name is, but it was like four dollars. Just wait until I put these bad boys on. Okay. Now that I put on my lashes, I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Lash Lash Blast Fusion. And now, so I'm using the same rose color that I used on my brow bone. And because my hair is up, I like to put it here as well. <laughs> on the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow okay now for the lips i'm using the subtle lip paint in shade unveil okay i'll always do the top first because that is probably the hardest part because I have like a little V. It's always really hard for me to do. Okay, now I'm going to spray in my beauty blender with my setting spray again. And pat everything really softly. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.